How can you save time in Microsoft Word? Try Dictation, a powerful tool that lets you speak instead of type. Dictation is perfect for capturing ideas quickly, drafting documents, or just saving time on typing. Let's look at how to get started along with some tips to make dictation work even smarter for you. Number one, dictation requirements. Before starting dictation in Word, it's good to know a few basic requirements. First, dictation is only available within a Microsoft 365 subscription. Licensed versions of Word don't include dictation. You can find the dictation option in both the Word 365 desktop app and the online or browser version. Also, you'll need a microphone, preferably an external microphone for better sound quality. Number two, starting dictation. To get started, open Microsoft Word, or open a new or existing document. From the Home tab, look for the Dictation button or icon. Here you'll find it on the right-hand side. It looks like a microphone. To start dictation, you can click the microphone or press the keyboard shortcut Alt Backtick. Now you'll find the Backtick key to the left of the numeric keys at the top of your keyboard. So it's probably one you haven't used before. I'll use the Dictate button in the ribbon. A small notification will pop up letting you know that Word is ready to listen. As you can see, it's already doing its work. Now simply start speaking and Word will convert your words into text instantly. For best results, speak clearly and at a moderate pace. Stop dictation. You have a few things to work on, including punctuation, right? I'll share with you some tips for that as well. So to stop dictation, we could simply say that or click the Stop Dictation button in the toolbar, or press the Alt Back Tick keyboard shortcut again. Number three, using voice commands for punctuation. So let's restart dictation and try these options. I'll restart using the Alt Back Tick shortcut. What do you think of the dictation feature? Question mark. New line. New line. Dictation in Word can be helpful for creating reports, comma, meeting notes, comma, and other documents, period. New line. Stop dictation. So using these commands to make your dictation smoother and more accurate. You may be familiar with using the punctuation in voice text for messages. In this case, the new line will give me a new line or return. In this example, I used it just a little bit too quickly, and so it just captured it as text. That's one of the things to know in dictation as well, is it's likely you'll need to do some editing, but you'll be able to get the intention and the content in much quicker, perhaps, than typing. Number four, customizing settings. There may be times when you want to fine tune how dictation works in Word. So for more control, move over here to your options for dictation and click the gear for your settings. From here, we can change your language, change your microphone. You can also enable auto punctuation, which lets Word handle the punctuation for you and filter sensitive phrases. That's useful for keeping documents more professional. So adjusting these settings can tailor dictation to your needs, whether you're writing a report, brainstorming, or capturing ideas on the go. Although I haven't made any changes here, I'll pick save. Number five, getting help. Another option in the settings here is this question mark for help. Here you'll find a list of commands and actions available in dictation. This can be really handy to be able to learn these features. The first thing you'll need to know is to first select the language. And so in this, then pick the appropriate language for you. And then you will see a list, a wide range of options here for how you can interact with dictation. So for instance, here I have editing. These are all the things that I could actually say as instructions for editing the text. Punctuation, we saw a little bit about that before. So period to end a sentence or useful stop for my friends who use British English. Of course, comma for pauses or list, question mark, new line, and even exclamation mark for emphasis. So these are the things that you can add into your simple voice commands. 
review your options here so that you can really make the most of working with the dictation feature in Word. For now, I'll close this. Number six, creating lists by voice. Do you need a list? Well, dictation makes it easy. You can say, for instance, start numbered list or start bulleted list to begin, add bullet or add number, continues the list, and exit list wraps it up. So let's try these by creating a list of dictation tips. Begin dictation using any of those options, either the shortcut key or simply clicking the microphone. For best accuracy with dictation, comma, try these tips to optimize your setup, colon, new line, start bullet list, use a noise canceling microphone if possible, comma, especially in a busy workplace, period, new bullet. Minimize background noise by closing doors or reducing sound sources, period. New bullet. Speak at a consistent pace to make dictation even more accurate, period. New bullet. Exit list. Stop dictation. Let's try it again with a numbered list. Here I'll use my keyboard shortcut, Alt, back to Start numbered list. Bananas, new line, new line. Apples, new line. Oranges, new line. Exit list, stop dictation. So these options are perfect for note taking, creating task lists or outlining key points when dictating. And as you can see, there might be some corrections to the content, maybe capitalization, maybe fixing some of the spelling or punctuation, but this can still be a big time saver for you. Number seven, editing and formatting with shortcuts. As you're dictating your content, you may need to make quick edits or formatting changes. So here's some shortcuts to try. Undo removes the last phrase that you dictated. Delete will erase the last word. Bold or italic starts or ends formatting. So let's try these. I'll turn on dictation again. See how you can save time with dictation. Undo. Here's a short example. Delete, delete. Sentence, period. New line. Bold. Dictation is wonderful, exclamation mark. New line. Italics. What do you think, question mark. New line. Bold, italics. Stop dictation. So now my formatting has returned to normal, and we've been able to integrate these formatting and editing commands very easily through the dictation process. So these shortcuts will really help you to format and refine your text without even needing to touch the keyboard. And that's how you can use dictation in Microsoft Word to streamline your document creation, exclamation mark. Try it out yourself, comma, and see how to, it can make your workflow faster and easier, period. Stop dictation. To explore more ways to be productive with Microsoft Word or to join my free tips letter, visit thesoftwarepro.com slash word. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to this channel for other time-saving software tips. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.